What's up guys? Third video of the week. I don't think you understand how hard the hustle is right now. Um, being the third video of the week, I, I don't know what I'm gonna get done tonight. Um, I backed the truck out. I wasn't even planning on doing this. Uh, I'm tired. I was working today uh, welding a trailer at work and stuff so I was kind of worn out already uh, before I've even started this but I have an opportunity and I need to use it. So I have the truck pulled out I have the engine up on the hoist with the transmission on it, with the Allison on it. We're going to just go ahead and slide it in there to see where it goes. Um, I Before I get too far cutting, I want to go ahead, put it in there, see how much I need to cut. You know, I, I don't want to cut a whole bunch out. I don't want a gigantic transmission tunnel. Um, I would like to be able to carpet over this thing at some point without having to add a whole bunch of extra carpeting in the truck to cover a giant transmission tunnel. Um, the goal is to change as little as possible on this setup and, you know, make the truck feel as stock as possible, but with a Cummins and an Allison instead of a uh, 6.5 Detroit diesel and a 4L80E. Um, <laughs> So I'm probably going to set the cameras up, set the, you know, the high speed on, um, and kind of do it like I normally do it. Um, maybe I'll slow some stuff down later on. I'll try not to get too crazy with the editing on this video. I was really bored last week and I got really cut short by the weather. Um, so today let's try to get some stuff done. Um, I don't know if I'll start cutting tonight cause I still need to pull the carpet out back the driver's seat, uh, the, the bench up so I can move the carpet back far enough. Um, I may have to gut the whole interior depending on if I'm going to have to weld this thing. Uh, I guess we'll just see where we get and um, hopefully we can get this thing in there and find out there's really only mild cutting that might need to be done. Um, I know the body lift guys who do lifted trucks and do body lifts, uh, they don't have to cut anything. The body lift actually allows it to clear, um, but I have not heard from anybody yet that has told me a just regular cab, uh, you know, an Allison can just drop in there with a little bit of hammering, which I've done a little bit of hammering but I might need to do a lot more hammering um, so I'm gonna set the cameras up and let's get to work Alright guys, <clears throat> I'm back. Um, I got two different cameras set up as far as the time lapse goes because I spent lots of time on both sides of the truck. I ended up moving the transmission cross member out of the way um, just to see kind of how far I could get this thing in there. Um, surprisingly enough, I'm on the motor mounts and the transmission mostly fits. It's hanging down below the frame which is a problem because I'm doing air ride on this truck and the truck's going to lay frame. So we're going to probably have to maybe cut the floor maybe just a tiny bit um, all the way down the entire length of the transmission which isn't super long 
um, and maybe bring it up maybe an inch. Um, I'm not quite 100% sure yet as far as how crazy I'll have to go bringing it up, um, but it doesn't look near as bad as I thought it was. Um, I thought it was gonna be a lot of cutting and it only looks maybe now like it might be a little bit of cutting. Um, the front of the pan scares me a little bit because the front of the pan is still definitely hanging below the frame. Um, if I cut the transmission tunnel and raise the engine up, um, or raise the uh, transmission up and the engine is tipped forward, I'm going to have to probably build new engine mounts a little bit higher, make some kind of spacer for them. Um, and then I might have to use a cow hood. The way these engine mounts are set up is, it is gonna be very close to the hood. I mean, super, super close to the hood. Um, so possibly, um, you know, depending on how this goes, to get the transmission as high as I need it to, to have the truck lay frame, I may have to raise everything up and that will build, make a little bit higher of a tunnel than I really wanted to go, but not huge. It's not going to be a giant like doghouse, you know, tunnel or anything like some race cars have. Um, but let me show you what I got over here and hopefully you can see it's pretty dark outside. Um, this side is not on the engine mount yet all the way because as you can see I'm hitting the factory AC bracket right here. I can't take that out because it's part of my water pump housing. So what I'll probably do is cut that smooth um, and just shave that off. Uh, no big deal. Um, that's not gonna be a part that we actually need anymore now that we have this awesome Auto World um, AC bracket where you know the AC takes the factory location. When I say takes the factory location, this is the actual factory GM lines. They plug right in. They give me enough clearance to run an elbow off the turbo. Um, so that is gonna be just like the truck should be. Um, I don't know if you can see back there because it's pretty dark, but you can see the kind of space I am working with still. Uh, the transmission is dropped down a little bit in the back. I pulled the jack out of it because I'm getting ready to start putting everything back in the garage. I got a bunch of mosquito hawks flying in. Um, so I wanna try to get everything closed up and back in. Um, over here, I am definitely on the actual engine mount. And now these engine mounts from the looks, you can spin them to reposition the engine. So I could probably go a little bit by, farther back by spinning this engine mount. Um, but for now, I just wanted to get it setting in there. But if you see um, back there, let me try to get the camera to focus on it. The Allison is in there um, and it's setting on the cross member right now. And it's, it's starting to look like an engine, uh, like a like a, a diesel truck again. So um, we're we're definitely getting there um, as far as this setup goes. Um, I'm probably gonna have to take everything back out. I want to see. I have some metal shears that I might be able to cut the transmission tunnel with, but they definitely leave a gap because they cut out about maybe a half inch of metal um, as they cut. But they don't cut deep and they don't throw sparks like using a cutoff wheel. So I might use those. Um, which may not be a big deal because I might have to put filler metal in anyways, um, depending on how high I go with it. So we'll just have to see, I guess, really how high I'll have to go with it. That's, that's really the big question right now. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and get the truck put back in the garage and call it a night. Uh, this being my third video this week, I think I'm going to sit on this video until next week sometime because I have no idea if I'm going to get to work on this thing next week. Um, so I'll probably save this video till then. But uh, as always, um, like and subscribe uh, if you haven't yet. Um, if you're new here and you're watching the content, it would really help me out if you subscribe. Um, so, you know, and I appreciate everybody that does definitely leave comments if you have any questions about the conversion, um, tools, anything you see in the garage that you want to ask a question about, go ahead and ask it and I will try to answer that for you. Um, but as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, y'all guys have a good night.